Hello and welcome to Gabbit Media. I'm Grant Abbott and today we're doing a quick tip of how you can render out your animations as a video file. I'll also put some information about compression so your files don't end up too big. So here I am in a scene that I did about doing 2D logos into 3D. You can find more about that in the link in the description. And if I go to camera view with zero on my numpad, you can see that I've set up a simple animation if I just scrub along the timeline at the bottom here. So how do I render out that animation without having it go into single frames? Well, I come across to the side here, there's the render tab here with all your render settings, but there's also the output properties here. And under output properties, obviously we've got the resolution of our image here and changing the size of your resolution will certainly change the size of your file. Also, it's worth thinking about whether you're putting this into another program like Premiere or something and whether you want the frame rate to match that. But generally speaking, those sort of programs can convert it pretty easily. The main setting is the output setting here. So this is where we can change where it's going to. And we can click on the folder icon here and change the directory and give it a suitable name. And down below here is the file format. So PNG is the default and it's RGBA. So that creates slightly bigger sizes, but it will give you an alpha channel in the background. So let's pretend that for some reason I'm hiding the background and I want this to be transparent. I will need the RGBA selected for that. You will also need to be under the render properties, down to film and choose transparent there. So I'll go back to the output properties. So if I bring back my floor, I don't need the alpha channel, so I can press on RGB and that should reduce the file size because you don't have an extra channel in there. Also under file format, we have some movie options. Now AVI RAW is going to be huge files because it's uncompressed. What you want to do is FFmpeg. So if I tick on that, the settings you need for this to create a good quality low file size will be the container being Matroska. That's for PC. If you use a Mac, you may want to go across the QuickTime. You have got other options in here, but Matroska as the default works well. You need the video codec at H.264. That's the best for compression and things like YouTube use that encoder. I find that the output quality, medium quality and encoding speed of good is absolutely fine. So once you've done that, the easiest way is to press Control F12 or you can go up to render and render animation there. And you will then find your file where you placed it here. So hopefully that gives you all the information you need to render out an animation as a video file. It is worth saying that outputting as image files is generally considered better because if there's any faults, you can easily find the frame and re-render it. You can use free programs like DaVinci Resolve to paste them all together. You can actually do that in Blender as well and maybe I'll do that as a tip another time. Do make sure you check out my website and my playlists on this channel for other free courses and watch out for other quick tips on this channel. Until then, thanks for watching.